in our operation if any of the one statement is true then the final condition also true proposition that is always false means that is called as contradiction so we have one statement called p statement so true or false we have two possibilities for this p true or this false a proposition that is neither a tautology nor a contradiction neither a tautology we have true nor a contradiction that is false Hello everyone I am Shweta Computer Science Faculty Vidyashram First Aid College Mysore In my last session I have discussed about proposition and logic Proposition is a statement that can be either true or false The sentence which can be true or it can be false is called as propositional logic Propositional logic is also known as sentential logic It's a logic statement So in my last session I have discussed about unit 2 first topic called propositional logic today i will explain the very important concept called tautology it is very important question you can expect any question on this topic it is very important concept please understand the concept properly tautology means the word tautology is derived from a greek word where tauta tauta means same and logi means logic that means tautology means same logic and the definition of this tautology is a propositional function which is true in every possible case tautology means a propositional function propositional means the statement which can be either true or false a propositional function which is true in every possible case which is true in every possible case then we can call it as it is a tautology i will explain with an example example i have two statement statement 1 is p and q here i am finding p or q statement p or q so already i have discussed about connectives right so in my last session i have discussed about all the connectives example we have or and not and implication implication means it is a conditional statement conditional and if and only if if and only if is called as biconditional statement so the symbols represented for or operator is this is a symbol and for and operator and symbol for not we can also written as this is a symbol for representing not and implication symbol for representing implication and for if and only if we can write this symbol these are the connectives already I have discussed in my previous session right so now i am taking one example here i will show you the given statement is tautology or not i have p and q i will find p or q first i will write the truth values true 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 false false true and false false so what is this p or q in our operation if any of the one statement is true then the final condition also true any one of the statement is true condition is also true any one of the statement is true condition is true condition is true and false false means it is false is it tautology no it is not a tautology because tautology means a propositional function which is true in every possible case so which is true in every possible case but here i have a false condition also so this condition is not tautology tautology means which is true in every cases then we can call it as it is a tautology so this statement is not a tautology next i will take one more example so i will take p 
and negation p p and negation p next i will write the truth table for this we have p only we have one statement called p true and false we have only two possibilities true or it is false so now i will find negation p so what is negation p here true changes to false false changes to true now i will find this final statement p and negation p so find out whether it is a tautology or not in and operation if any one of the condition is false so it is also false and true true means it is true otherwise all the conditions are false in and operation so if any one of the condition is false so the condition also false if true true means only it is true it's just an opposite of this or operation so in or operation if true 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 means it is true true false is true false true also true and false false means only it is false if any one of the condition is true then all the conditions are true if any one of the condition is false all the conditions are false in and operation so next i will take one more statement p or negation p p or negation p so we'll find out this so we have one statement called p statement so true or false we have two possibilities for this p true or it is false so if your condition is true so negation of this p is false if condition is false negation is true so listen carefully so here i am finding the truth values for p or negation p first write all the truth values for p true or false and what is the negation of this p true changes to false false changes to true and now i will find p or negation p so what is the statement so in our operation if any one of the statement is true then it is also true if any one of the statement is true it is true so here false true is there condition is true if any one of the statement is true condition is true in our operation and here you got true and true is it tautology yes it is a tautology because a propositional function which is true in every possible case so here we got true conditions in every possible cases so this is called as tautology you can give any other examples so this is a basic example for tautology so here this is not a tautology because here i got one false condition so tautology means true in every possible cases so here we got true condition in every possible cases so it is a tautology but this is not a tautology this is called as tautology tautology in the sense which is true in every possible case we can call it as it is a tautology now i will explain some more examples for tautology in words here you have two questions first question he is he is healthy or he is not healthy here we have one statement he is healthy so i will write p or we have one connectives that is or this is a symbol for representing or and he is not healthy so he is not healthy means it is a negation of this statement he is healthy means what is the negation of this he is not healthy so otherwise you can use q or negation q and a number is odd or a number is not odd i will take r a number is odd or number is not odd this is the answer for this sentence sometimes you can expect this question for two marks sometimes they will give the question in words so you have to represent this in a tautology form so here the statement have represented in r and r means a number is odd one statement and we have connectives called or operator or negation of this or is a number is not odd this is an example for tautology 
and next we have contradiction. So what is this contradiction? A proposition that is always false is called as contradiction. Contradiction means it's just an opposite of tautology. In tautology statement is true in every possible cases but in contradiction statement is false in every possible case. So it is always false is called as contradiction. So what is an example for contradiction? So example P and negation P. I will write it in a truth value. So first I have two statement called P and negation P. So statement truth value is true or false. We have two possibilities for this P, true or false. And what is the negation of this P? True changes to false, false changes to true. Now I will find out P and negation P. So what is the answer? So here we have and operator. If any one of the statement is false, so your final statement also false. Any one of the statement is false, condition is false. If any one of the statement is false, condition is also false. If true, false, true, true, false, true and false, false. What is P and Q here? True, false is false. True, true is only true. False, true is false. False, false is false. So this is for and operator. So here, if any one of the condition is false, then the statement also false. So if true, both the conditions are true, true, then only the condition is true in and operator. So here have used the method. So here true, false means it is false. False, true means it is condition is false. So now you can observe this statement. A proposition that is always false. Proposition that is always false means that is called as contradiction. So you can write this example for contradiction. Always false is called as contradiction. Always true is called as tautology. This is an example. So these are the difference between tautology and contradiction. And next important concept is contingency. So what is this contingency? A proposition that is neither a tautology nor a contradiction. Hello everyone, I am Shweta, Computer Science Faculty, Vidyashram First Aid College, Mysore. In my last session, I have discussed about proposition and logic. Proposition is a statement that can be either true or false. The sentence which can be true or it can be false is called as propositional logic. Propositional logic is also known as sentential logic. It's a logic statement. So, in my last session, I have discussed about unit 2, first topic called propositional logic. Today, I will explain the very important concept called tautology. It is very important question. You can expect any question on this topic. It is very important concept. Please understand the concept properly. Tautology means the word tautology is derived from a Greek word where tauta. Tauta means same and Logy means logic. That means tautology means same logic. And the definition of this tautology is a proposition function which is true in every possible case. Tautology means a propositional function. Propositional means the statement which can be either true or false. A proposition function which is true in every possible case, which is true in every possible case, then we can call it as it is a tautology. I will explain with an example. Example, I have two statement. Statement 1 is P and Q. Here, I am finding P or Q. Statement P or Q. So, already I have discussed about connectives, right? So, in my last session, I have discussed about all the connectives. Example, we have or and not and implication. Implication means it is a conditional statement. Conditional and if and only if 
if and only if is called as biconditional statement. So, the symbols represented for OR operator is, this is a symbol and for AND operator and symbol for NOT, we can also written as this is a symbol for representing not and implication symbol for representing implication and for if and only if we can write this symbol. These are the connectives already have discussed in my previous session, right? So now I am taking one example. Here I will show you the given statement is tautology or not. I have P and Q. I will find P or Q. First, I will write the truth values, true, 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 false, false, true and false, false. So, what is this P or Q? In OR operation, if any of the one statement is true, then the final condition also true. Any one of the statement is true, condition is also true. Any one of the statement is true, condition is true condition is true and false false means it is false. Is it tautology? No, it is not a tautology because tautology means a propositional function which is true in every possible case. So, which is true in every possible case but here I have a false condition also. So, this condition is not tautology. Tautology means which is true in every cases, then we can call it as it is a tautology. So, this statement is not a tautology. Next, I will take one more example. So, I will take P and negation P. P and negation P. Next, I will write the truth table for this. We have P. Only we have one statement called P. True and false. We have only two possibilities true or it is false. So, now I will find negation p. So, what is negation p here? True changes to false, false changes to true. Now, I will find this final statement p and negation p. So, find out whether it is a tautology or not. In and operation, if any one of the condition is false, so, it is also false and true, true means it is true. Otherwise, all the conditions are false in and operation. So, if any one of the condition is false, so the condition also false. If true, true means only it is true. It is just an opposite of this or operation. So, in or operation, if true, true, true means it is true. True, false is true, false, true also true. And false, false means only it is false. If any one of the condition is true, then all the conditions are true. If any one of the condition is false, all the conditions are false in and operation. So, next I will take one more statement. P or negation P. P or negation P. So, we will find out with an, we will find out this. So, we have one statement called P statement. So, true or false. We have two possibilities for this P, true or it is false. So, if your condition is true, so negation of this P is false. If condition is false, negation is true. So, listen carefully. So, here I am finding the truth values for P or negation P. First, write all the truth values for P, true or false. And what is the negation of this P? True changes to false, false changes to true. And now I will find P or negation P. So, what is the statement? So, in our operation, if any one of the statement is true, then it is also true. If any one of the statement is true, it is true. So, here false true is there, condition is true. If any one of the statement is true, Condition is true in OR operation. And here you got true and true. Is it tautology? Yes, it is a tautology because 
a propositional function which is true in every possible case. So, here we got true conditions in every possible cases. So, this is called as tautology. You can give any other examples. So, this is a basic example for tautology. So, here this is not a tautology because here I got one false condition. So, tautology means true in every possible cases. So, here we got true condition in every possible cases. So, it is a tautology, but this is not a tautology. This is called as tautology. Tautology in the sense which is true in every possible case, we can call it as it is a tautology. Now, I will explain some more examples for tautology in words. Here, you have two questions. First question, he is, he is healthy or he is not healthy. Here we have one statement, he is LD, so I will write P or we have one connectives that is or, this is a symbol for representing or and he is not healthy. So, he is not LD means it is a negation of this statement. He is LD means, what is the negation of this? He is not healthy. So, otherwise you can use Q or negation Q. And a number is odd or a number is not odd. I will take R. A number is odd or number is not odd. This is the answer for this sentence. Sometimes you can expect this question for two marks. Sometimes they will give the question in words. So, you have to represent this in a tautology form. So, here the statement have represented in R and R means a number is odd, one statement and we have connectives called OR operator or negation of this OR is a number is not odd. This is an example for tautology. And next we have contradiction. So, what is this contradiction? A proposition that is always false is called as contradiction. Contradiction means it is just an opposite of tautology. In tautology, statement is true in every possible cases, but in contradiction, statement is false in every possible case. So, it is always false is called as contradiction. So, what is an example for contradiction? So, example P and negation P. I will write it in a truth values. So, first I have two statement called P and negation P. So, statement truth value is true or false. We have two possibilities for this P, true or false. And what is the negation of this P? True changes to false, false changes to true. Now, I will find out P and negation P. So, what is the answer? So, here we have and operator. If any one of the statement is false, so your final statement also false. Any one of the statement is false, condition is false. If any one of the statement is false, condition is also false. If true, false, true, true, false, true and false, false. What is P and Q here? True, false is false. True, true is only true. False, true is false. False, false is false. So, this is for and operator. So, here if any one of the condition is false, then the statement also false. So, if true, both the conditions are true, true, then only the condition is true in and operator. So, here I have used the method. So, here true false means it is false. False true means it is condition is false. So, now you can observe this statement. A proposition that is always false. Proposition that is always false means that is called as contradiction. So, you can write this example for contradiction. Always false is called as contradiction. Always true is called as tautology. So, these are the difference between tautology and contradiction. And next important concept is contingency. So, what is this contingency? A proposition that is neither a tautology nor a contradiction is called as contingency. So, neither a tautology, neither a tautology means neither a true or nor a contradiction. Contradiction means condition is false. 
सो ऑलवेज इट इज ट्रू इन टोटल जी ऑलवेज स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स इन कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन ए प्रोपोजिशन दट इज नाइदर ए टोटल जी नॉर ए कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन इज कॉल्ड एज Contingency. So here, the term contingency is not as widely used as the term tautology and contradiction. So, what is an example for this contingency? Now, I will show you an example for contingency. P and Q. We have two statements here. I have used and operator, right? So this is and operator. We have two statements P and Q. I'll write the truth table for this P. q and we have p and q so first write the truth values true 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 false false true false false so what is p and q if any one of the condition is false so statement also false if any one of the condition is false the statement also false otherwise it is true 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 means true true false means we have one false condition so it is false false true means we have one condition false condition so it is false and we have two false condition it is false so this is a true table for p and q so now you can observe a proposition that is neither a tautology nor a contradiction neither a tautology we have true nor a contradiction that is false we have three false conditions and one true condition so it is contingency it is contingency condition so this is about your tautology contradiction and contingency condition next we'll discuss the problems on tautology how to write the true table and how to simplify the tautology problem it is very important question you can expect this question for 7 mark here we have an example we have two statements p and p dash so p dash means it is a negation of this p so if your p condition is true so p dash is false p condition is false p dash is true so what is p or p dash p or p dash means we are using or operation or means if any one of the condition is true so statement is true any one of the condition is true the statement is true in or operation it's just an opposite for and if any one of the condition is false statement also false it's just an opposite for or if any one of the condition is false statement is false in and if any one of the condition is true statement is true in or operation so now you can observe this this is called as tautology and this is called as contradiction we gather that p or p dash is a tautology so this is tautology and p and p dash is a contradiction so you can give this example for tautology and contradiction so next we have an example problem is negation h implies h is a tautology we have to check whether it is a tautology or not so negation h implication h so this symbol is called as conditional conditional or implication implication so implication means if h then negation h implication condition or conditional statement so this is a symbol for conditional or implication here we have to check whether it is a tautology or not so you can expect this question for 2 marks or 4 marks also we have one statement called h we have two possibilities for h that is true and false so how to write the true tables first you have to understood so here for every true table if you get one statement so you have to represent is in a 2 power n values so truth values we have to represent it in 2 power n values so here we have only one statement called h h is a statement if n is equal to 1 so 2 power 1 is equal to 2 so you'll get only two possibilities called true and false if n is equal to 2 sometimes if you get two statement called h or n 
So, you will get 2 power 2. That means 4 possibilities. 4 possibilities means true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Clear? And if you get 3 statements, that means P, Q and R. So, 2 power 3 is equal to 8 possibilities you will get in truth table. So, next I will explain this concept for 8 possibilities. So, here we have only one statement. So, we have only 2 possibilities for this H statement. So, what is the negation of this H? So, true changes to false, false changes to true. That you have to write in a truth values. So, true changes to false, false changes to true. That is negation H. And we have to find negation H implies H. So, what is the truth values? So, here you have to use both the statements for finding the conditional statement. So, here negation H implies H. Here we have conditional statements. So, what is the truth table for implication? So, in my previous session I have discussed about this implication truth tables, right? So, true, 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 false, false, true and false, false. Listen. In implication or conditional statement, if your first condition is true, second condition is false, then only the condition is false. I will repeat, if your first condition is true and the second condition is false, then only the condition, final condition is false. Otherwise, all the conditions are true. That is it. Very simple truth table for implication or conditional statement. If your first statement is true, the second statement is false, then only the condition is false. Otherwise, all the conditions are true. So, we will apply this truth table to this notation. Here we have true false. So, already I have discussed here, if your first condition is true, the second condition is false, then only the condition is false. And if your first condition is false, second condition is true means it is true only. Listen carefully in implication you have only one changes in the truth table that is if your first condition is true second condition is false then only the condition also false otherwise all the conditions are true very simple right so you can apply this condition to this table so true false means obviously it is false and false true means it is true when your first condition is true, second condition is false, then only the final condition is false. So, now I have finished this truth table. You can observe this whether it is a tautology or not. Here, first statement I got false condition. In second, I got true condition. Is this tautology? No. Here, I got false and true. False and true, I got so, it is not a tautology because tautology means the condition which is always true is called as tautology. But here I got false condition also. If a condition is always true means then only we can consider it is a tautology condition. Otherwise, it is not a tautology. So, here we can assume that it is not a tautology but it is a contingency. Why it is contingency? The condition is neither true nor false. So, it is a contingency condition. It is not a tautology. So, in exam you can write. So, here we got false and true. So, it is not a tautology. It is very simple, right? The next problem show that P implication P or Q. P implication P or Q. We have two statements. So, 2 statements means 2 power 2 is equal to, we will get 4 possibilities that is true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. You can change the arrangement of this. So, now first I will find out this P or Q. P or Q. So, here I am using R operation. So, what is R operation? So, in R operation, if any one of the condition is true, so, all the conditions also true. Any one of the condition is true means all the conditions are true. If both the conditions are false means condition also false. Any one of the condition is true. So, it is true. Any one of the condition is true. 
it is true any one of the condition is true it is true and both the condition is false means condition also false so this is p or q next i have to find out for p implication p or q so just consider this p or q with p so you have to write the truth values for these two possibilities so just consider p values and p or q values so now i'll write the truth values for p implication p or q so first i will check p truth values true and the second truth value is p or q so here i am using implication already i have told you about implication truth table right if your first condition is true the second condition is false then only it is false otherwise all the conditions are true only in implication so your first condition is true second condition is true means it is true and first condition true second condition is true it is true and first condition is false second condition is true it is true and first condition false second condition is false means it is true because here we don't have this possibility for getting the false condition right so if your first condition is true the second condition is false means you will get false condition in implication so here all the conditions are true so now we can check whether it is a tautology or not so what is tautology the condition which is always true we can call it as it is a tautology right so it is a tautology you can give this example for tautology please first understand about the truth tables so first you have to remember the truth table for or and not and conditional and biconditional then only you can simplify whether it is a tautology whether it is a contradiction you can use the truth values for constructing a truth table so first you have to understood the concept of truth tables so then only you can simplify the problems so this statement is a tautology which is always true the next question we have find negation a negation a and b implication negation a or b this question you can expect for 7 marks it is very simple concept so here we have to check whether it is a tautology or not so here we have two statements statement a and b so first write the statements a and b and write the truth values so truth values true 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 false false true false and false so first we have to check negation a one by one you have to explain in truth tables so here i will find out negation a so what is the negation of this a true changes to false false true and true and now you have to find negation a and b so now you can consider this negation a and b for finding negation a and b so here what is a and b so in a and b operation if you any one of the statement is false so all the statement also false so false any one of the statement is false condition also false any of the statement is false condition false any of the statement is true statement true any of the statement is false condition is false so i have finished this first part right next i will find out this a or b so what is a or b just consider these two possibilities a or b in a or b operation if any one of the condition is true so the final condition also true so here we have true true condition is true any one of the condition is true statement also true so false false means statement false so it's just an opposite of this a and b so this is a or b this is a and b next i will find out negation of a or b so what is the negation of this a or b true changes to false 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 and true now you can find out 
negation A and B, this one with this one. You can find out the implication. You just consider these two possibilities for final conditions. So, consider this negation A and B, implication of negation A or B. So, here I already have told you about implication through table, right? So, true, false, true, true means true, true, false, only false, false, true, true, false, false, true. So, except this, every condition is true. So, here I will consider only this F and F is true. F, F again true, true and F is what? It is false, false and true is, it is true. Is this tautology? No, it is not tautology because here all the conditions are true except this false condition. Tautology means which is always true but here we got one false condition. So, it is not a tautology. These are the examples for tautology. You can expect this question. So, it is very important question. Please practice this question. And the next question we have construct the truth table for first question P and negation Q. So, negation you can represent by this symbol or this symbol. Please keep in mind negation you can represent by this symbol or this symbol. So, here we have another symbol. First, we have to find out P and negation Q. We have two statements here. So, first question, we have two statements P and Q. So, first write all the truth values for P and Q. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. And what is negation P opposite of this P? True changes to false, true changes to false, false changes to true, false changes to true. And what is the negation of this Q? True changes to false, false to true, true to false, false to true. And next you have to find and operation P and negation Q. So just consider P and negation Q truth values. What is and operation? If any one of the condition is false, so the final condition also false. So true, false, the condition is false. And again true, true. True, true means only we will get true. Any one of the condition is false, so you will get false condition. Any one of the condition is false, you will get false condition. So this is your P and negation Q. And also we have one more question that is negation P or Q. So, you just consider negation P or Q value. We have to use or operation. Negation P means this column and Q. You have to use this Q column. So, what is or operation? If any one of the condition is true, so all the condition also true. And if you have both the conditions are false, condition is false. Any one of the condition is true, it is true. Any one of the condition is true, it is true. So, this is called as negation P or Q. So, here have con so here have constructed the truth table for a given problem. So, this is the construction of the truth table. So, simply they will give the statements with connectives. So, you have to construct the truth table. So, it is for 5 marks question or 7 marks question. So, definitely there will be a problem on this method. So, you can construct the truth table with the help of this connectives and statement. And some more important questions. So, this is question paper problems. Define proposition, give an example. A proposition is a collection of declarative statements that has either a truth value called true or a truth value called false. Already have discussed this in my previous session. Proposition means is a collection of statements that has either a truth value called true or it can be a false. That is called as proposition. So, how to write the example for this propositions? So, in proposition means the statement which is either true or false. So, first statement 7 plus 4 is equal to 10. Is it right? 7 plus 4 is equal to 11, right? So, statement can be either true or false that is called as proposition. 
apples are black and narendra modi is president of india so this statement is right and 2 and 2 makes 5 is this true condition no it's not a true statement so here i have written both the conditions so it is a true condition or a false condition that is called as proposition and the last question is find the negation of the proposition vandana's smartphone has at least 32 gb memory so here we have one statement here i have to find the negation of this proposition vandana's smartphone has at least 32 gb memory so i will consider this statement as p so what is the negation of this p so negation p vandana's smartphone does not have at least 32 gb of memory is a negation of this proposition that's it so this is for two marks question you can expect this question for two marks so simply they will give the propositions so you have to convert it into negation of this proposition that's it it is very simple concept easily you can expect in second unit also please practice all the problems it is very simple concept easily you can score in second unit also so in my next session i will discuss another important problems on tautology and contradiction thank you